Hello and welcome to Analog Insights. Rolleye recently released the Rolleye Auto 25 Plus. And the Plus is new here and it stands for a slightly altered emulsion and a new film base. And that of course was reason enough for Jules and myself to take a closer look at this particular film and review it properly. The Rolleye Auto 25 is famous for its extremely fine grain and high sharpness. And it is well suited for scientific and technical applications. According to the official Aurora website, it's also ideal for scanning and digital processing. And all that combined is reason enough to um, take it out, particularly on modern architecture. This, this is what we want to do today using our Hasselblad and the 50mm Distagon and a 150mm lens as well. So we will focus on architecture photography, but later on also do some portraits. So let's get in there. We've developed these images in Spur Acrol N, a developer that helps bring out the fine grain and sharpness that Rolai Orta 25 Plus is famous for. And there are even some online stores which are selling this combination together, so Spur Acrol N as a developer and Rolai Orta 25 Plus.
So we just finished up shooting some architecture and um, what is important to mention about the Rolei Auto 25 Plus is that it does, uh, that it is characterized by a high sensitivity reserve of up to two f-stops. And as mentioned in the introduction, it is famous for its fine grain and really high sharpness. So in technical terms, we're talking about 330 line pairs per millimeter. So really, really sharp film. And another characteristic of this film is its deep gradation. Um, so very dark shadows and very bright highlights and not much in between. Um, but that curve can be softened a little bit by using particular developers, for example, Spur Acarol N. Um, but in our case, we wanted to use that steep um, gradation for a portrait session with a friend of ours, a friend of Jules. Uh, her name is Maria. She's a famous German beauty blogger. And we went over to her place and used some artificial lights, some LED panels and the Mamiya RZ67 to take her portrait and to really bring out these contrasts and the sharpness that you can create with the Rolei Auto 25. So let's head over to her place and take a look at the results. So we hope you enjoyed this little film review of the Rolei Auto 25 Plus. Jules and I really enjoyed this film. Um, 
we just encourage you to give it a try, especially in combination with Spur Acarol. And um, there are some online shops who even sell, which even sell this combination together. So this particular film in combination with Spur Acarol and as a developer, precisely because it sparks these kinds of really sharp and interesting results. Um, we also hope that we could give you some insight into the different characteristics of this film and using it both in daylight, shooting some architecture and in artificial light, shooting some portraits and really bringing out that sp steep gradation in one, at one point and kind of using the softening characteristic of Spur Acarol and um, for the architecture photographs. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like it and maybe even share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. We hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.